A late night here last night at ABC7. Our entire show staff up past their bedtime tuning into the instant classic that was the USL Western Conference Final. Last night's match, the biggest in the short history of El Paso Locomotive FC. The winner off to the league championship to be televised nationally on ESPN and the theatrics worthy of a telenovela to PHX we go. First half, 17th minute, rising on the move. Jordan Schweitzer gets teed up and lets it fly some serious English on this ball. Take another look. The shot deflects off Richie Ryan, bars down for a goal. Sometimes it just be like that, rising up 1-0. But in the second half, Locomotive needing to answer. A team that has fought tooth and nail all season gets one from Brian Rebellion. One time for the one time, consider it equalized. We've got French fries and phonics. And could anyone emerge in regulation between El Paso and Rising? We would go down to the final moments in stoppage time. Dylan Mares taken down from behind, and it would set up a free kick just outside the box for the win. Oh, woodwork just off the mark, and we'd go to extra time. We're in 111th minute, Phoenix on the attack. Misfire from point blank, Logan Ketterer with the big save. I'm wearing kerosene britches at this point. We'd go to penalties for the third week in a row. We're in Nick Ross of Locomotive gets his second attempt blocked by Zach Lubin. El Paso in the early hole. Phoenix would knock down their first four attempts. So El Paso would need a goal on the ensuing kick from Aaron Gomez to stay alive. And Gomez, who's been such a focal point for El Paso all season, slips on the ball, skies it over the bar, and in the form of Greek tragedy, Phoenix rising advances on penalty kicks 4-2, and the season heartbreaking over for Locomotive FC, but what a season it was. Look, in a revised year where schedules were constantly in flux, this is a team in El Paso that made its second USL final in as many years as a franchise, overcame injuries, and the Locos have not one positive COVID case as an organization all year.